Okay, you're looking at the three parts of my experimental wood dryer. It's all based around a 9 kg gas cylinder, like that. A bit of different colour, of course. What I've done is I've attached a pipe to a point near the bottom of the um, LPG tank, and of course it breezes into the space inside the tank. This pipe here is a little bit bigger than the pipe coming out of the exhaust system. So in practice you move this over a little bit, slide them together and then just push them into place. And they don't have to be a particularly tight fit, we're not looking at a gas tight fit, but it's good enough that it conducts almost all of the exhaust down into this chamber. Um, the gas coming into this, I've measured at 320 degrees Celsius, which is what I would say is quite hot. I take advantage of that heat to dry the wood in this basket. It's a uh, an office waste paper basket, so it's wire mesh with a sort of wire frame holding it together. You drop it into place and it simply hangs there with the bottom of the wire basket about two inches above the floor of this 9 kg gas cylinder. As a result, when this thing is full of wood, it does a couple of things. It serves as a muffler, uh, taking a lot of the engine noise away. At the same time, it's allowing what is otherwise waste heat to dry this fuel. Putting this on assists in making it quieter too. So, when it's in operation, you can see steam coming out of there comes out all around the edge of the lid and through the hole in the centre obviously um, and of course that steam is carrying moisture from the wood the steam appears to be coming all from here as opposed to the muffler I don't get any visible steam coming out of that so I'm pretty sure what I'm seeing is actually being taken away from the moisture content of the wood in there needless to say this works really well after a couple of hours the wood has gone from about 19 to about 12 percent moisture content and it's ready then to be taken out of there and put into the gasifier which as you can see is all in pieces at the moment as it undergoes changes now being greedy by nature I figured if a small thing's good then a big one's got to be better so here it is a bigger one it's based around a garbage pail which is going to be modified to accept one of these near the base as before um, a homemade wire basket made from farm fencing wire and wire netting for the sake of comparison let's get the small basket and put it next to the boob booger here we go I haven't actually measured it but it looks like it's about four or five times bigger in terms of volume. I get two hours of run time out of this when it's full of fuel. So that suggests that would give me about nine or ten hours at one kilowatt of actual electric output from the generator on the engine over here. Yeah, it's a bit hard to spot so I'll just forget it for now. Um, I haven't developed this very far yet. This needs to be suspended from the lip of this, much like the small basket suspends from the lip of that in order to give it breathing space all around. That way the exhaust has no choice but to go through all of this before it can come out. The lid will need to be modified also to facilitate the correct breathing sort of effect. Um, as I don't think it will work quite so well without a lid. I think it actually needs this in order to keep the hot gases in there a little bit longer before they get blown out by exhaust pressure. Of course I may be entirely wrong there. It may work just fine without it. We'll see. So that's the uh, state of development there. It's um, super duper simple. Uses junk materials. Serves a number of purposes. It dries the fuel knocks the engine exhaust down by a fair few decibels and gives you something nice and warm to sit on too, which is quite nice. <laughs>
So, I'm hoping that has given folks some useful ideas. Cheers, fellas!